Welcome or welcome back at I need help at C squared. In this example, we need to find the derivative of f of x equals 4x cubed minus 3x squared plus 7x minus 10. And I'm going to do that by using these three rules. This is called the power rule. This is called the constant multiple rule. And this is sum or difference rule. So let's take a look. f prime of x, this case will be, and since we have here all kind of things like subtraction and addition and again subtraction so we're going to use this last rule sum or difference rule which tells us we can do the derivative with respect of x of 4x cubed plus the derivative in fact minus i apologize with respect of x of 3x squared plus the derivative of respect of x of 7x minus the derivative of respect of x of 10. So I use the last rule, sum or different rules. And now I'm going to go to the next step and I'm going to use the second rule, the constant multiple rule which tells me I'm going to move the 4 up front and I'm going to do the derivative with respect of x of x cubed minus the, I'm going to move the 3 up front and I'm going to have the derivative with respect of x of x squared plus I'm going to move the 7 up front and I'm going to get the derivative with respect of x of x uh, minus the derivative with respect of x of 10. And now I'm going to go and use the power rule for every single term in this summation and or subtraction. So I'm going to have four times and using the power rule, I'm going to, for this uh, first term, I'm going to have 3x to the 3 minus 1, so second power, minus 3 times now, using the power rule here, I'm going to have 2 times x to the 2 minus 1, right? Subtract 1 and you have x to the first power, plus 7 times x. And here, remember, we have an invisible one, 1 minus 1 power. And the last thing, we have a number, the derivative of a number of a uh, constant is 0. So then we have here 12x squared minus 6x, right? x to the first power is just x plus 7 only, x to the zero power, the, the guy that we're going to get it here, it's just 1, so just plus 7, and that's it. This is the derivative of f of x. Of course, after a while, you can move a little bit faster instead of doing all this mini step. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.